cleansing yourself, excreting out all the toxins so that your liver and kidneys and the rest of your body can do its job during your sleep. So if you want to wake up vital, ready to go, prepare the night before by doing 15 minutes of the physical practices or listening to one of the uh, rapid transformational vibrational techniques. How to become energetic and active. Everyone wakes up in the morning and some people get enough sleep, some people don't. But it's been shown that the quality of your sleep has a lot to do with how you feel when you wake up, whether you get enough RAM, whether you get enough deep sleep. And there's so many different devices that you can use that have binaural beats and electrical uh, stimulation, things like that. And yet the body's own system has been shown to be much better at rejuvenating you than anything that you can apply to your body uh, in terms of electrodes or equipment. And plus, all that stuff is difficult to carry around in your suitcase and hotels and plugging it in. And if you want to wake up and be rejuvenated, the Energy for Success has these practices that you do before you go to bed, where you take your entire abdomen and your back and your legs, and you allow the energy to flow all the way through, both up and down and sort of do waste management, you know, like outside your condo or your house, there's those big dumpster dumpsters and they, you know, you would go crazy if they didn't dump all that trash out every week or twice a week, but you don't do that for your body. So just applying electrodes to you doesn't do that. What you need is to be able to open up your own system for cleansing yourself, excreting out all the toxins so that your liver and kidneys and the rest of your body can do its job during your sleep. So if you want to wake up vital, ready to go, prepare the night before by doing 15 minutes of the physical practices or listening to one of the uh, rapid transformational vibrational techniques or watching a video and what's embedded in them are the vibrations that open up these sensors so that you feel like you just spend an hour with your best friend, which is your body. But most people feel like their body's a pain or they drag it around. But after you finish these practices, you sort of regain your birthright that your body feels, oh, you know, I feel relaxed and ready to go. And you didn't have to go to bed, but you, you, it's not like you want to go run a race, but you do want to like easily find your body, reach that level where during sleep, you get so much rebuilding, which is what your body's waiting to do. And it doesn't matter how many supplements you take, unless your body's turned on, unless all these sensors are opened to do that, uh, it won't work. And so we have people in the hospital all the time who, same operation, three different people, same ages, and they all heal at different rates. Well, that's because their own immune system is geared at a different level. You can have tremendous control over your own immune and healing system by doing pra these ancient practices. And we've shown it in people all over the world before you go to bed. And then we have other ones for as soon as you get up so that you don't wake up and feel like you're sore, uh, even though you worked out heavy uh, in the weight room the day before. Uh, I have done this with so many people when we uh, go on trips. And they all go, you're ready to go in the morning. And we were up late last night and we were eating all this great food and all over, uh, you know, drinking great wine, et cetera, and uh, are out of talk. And you're out jogging in the morning and it's not out of force. It's out of, it's out of feel good. And that's your birthright. And that's what energy for success is about. So for you to pull yourself together is as an effort. For most people and with energy for success it's a breeze the key thing about how to become energetic and active as i was speaking about it is that there's the practices and there's not only visual and auditory and there's physical ones too and so you can do one with me now and try this tonight and see what happens one of them is you're just going to take your right hand and you're going to stick it up as high as you can and you take your left arm and stick it down as far as you can. Now, even though you can't see me, you can understand what I'm saying. And you keep it next to your side, but you're going to keep your abdomen in while you're doing this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take in 
as big a breath as you can, but you're only going to let it out as slow as you can while you have your arms in this position. And you want to time yourself each night to see if you can go slower and slower and letting it out. So here I am taking a deep breath. And now we're going to let it out really slow. And yet I'm still stretching. And then you want to try it the other way. As tall as you can get, waist in, abdomen in, and then the right arm down next to your side. This one on the left side up as high as you can. Reach for the ceiling. And what you're doing is you're creating the space for you now to rejuvenate yourself while you're asleep or when you're taking a nap or when you're taking just a break at your desk. You don't have to close your eyes and blank out your brain. You have to put yourself into some type of state in which your body is cleaning itself, bringing itself to do what it's supposed to do. But you have to tell it to do that because in the world today, everything else is telling your body to be on alert because of the next danger. And that's really no way to ever take a break uh, to have your body heal. So if you can complete that twice before you go to bed and when you get up, you'll be in great shape. Being in one position and after you take the big breath, and remember, the whole body is being relaxed while you're doing this. So it's not like you're tensing anything. It's just you're letting your abdomen take in as much air as it can and then letting it out as slowly as it can. And then you're doing it this way also. And you're doing it this way also. And you just, over a period of about three to five minutes, if you do that and then lie down, you'll notice that immediately your body will go into the state where you'll start revitalizing yourself. And when you wake up or from either a nap or any sleep, your uh, capacity will be increased rather than saying, okay, I worked myself into a frenzy and then I can't do any more work. I'm falling asleep at my desk. I guess it's time to lie down or take a rest. And then you think your body's going to do something when you're lying down, but it, it still doesn't have the rejuvenation sensors open. So what you're doing is you're just sort of pausing while the machine is still going, just like your car is at the uh, stoplight, you know, and it's still revving around, revving around, revving around. It's not like it's off taking a break. So your body needs to take these breaks. And the more you give it breaks like this, the more you're going to rejuvenate. And the more you rejuvenate, then you're going to be more what energy for success is all about, which is triple E, which is energized, effective, and efficient. So you want to be efficient in your time, but that's not easy to do. Unless what you're doing during your time, you're very effective at getting the right things done. And that's not easy to do unless you have this energy that I'm so thrilled to present to you all that has these practices that keeps your whole body in this smooth, functioning, flow energy state so that you don't necessarily have to become a stoic or a, a deep meditator. It's just your natural state is wonderful. And once you start having that natural state, you'll have that Buddha smile that comes naturally, which is like, ah, my body's relaxing. I'm really doing the right thing. This is great. I look forward to you trying these practices. We have so many of those for you. Uh, if you look down below, you'll see that we have links where you can get more practices. And all of them have to do with rejuvenation. But the, this simple one I've shown you, try it. And I think you'll be surprised that it will actually uncoil a lot of the stress that you have in your body without you having to even think about it. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us today. I love being with you and the information we've got. We've got so much more coming. So please subscribe if you would like to hear more in-depth information from us. And oh, we've got a gift for you. Please look in the writing below. There's a link for a gift we're going to send you. And there's so many more things we can't wait to send you. So thanks for being with us today.